Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, indestructible diamond minds of pure awareness. Happy portal of the 216, our triple six X gateway of the Christo Sophia consciousness of love light. We have massive higher energetics flowing in through today's portal. With the assistance from the great central sun and our solar projector, our local Solaris released multiple C-class solar flares today, two more M-class flares, and another massive X-class flare, maxing at X2.56 at 653 UTC. This powerful gamma plasma wave coming from sunspot AR3576 has moved over the western limb of the sun into what is called the danger zone, where the sun and mother earth are magnetically connected. This will flood the earth with electromagnetic pulses of higher resonance that may trigger the shift into the higher resonance of 5D and beyond. The cosmic energies being sent to Gaia are to assist her and all of our starseed earth angelics of the 144 to remove and release any remaining interference patterns imprinted over the earth grids and dragon lines and activate our full planetary liberation and freedom in the light. Stand strong in faith and courage, angels and Buddhas of the new earth, for together we will succeed in our great mission of ascension earth. We are at the precipice, in this now, in our full manifestation of the great spirit's kingdom of heaven upon the earth. This is our entrance as galactic citizens of Terra Nova Gaia, Mothership 33, of our cosmic fleet of the new Jerusalem and into our 5D new golden age of Aquarius for all sentient beings of the way. All good people of the Tao, we are united in our higher purpose as wayshowers of the love and eternal life of infinite source creator. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer of the I am pure. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sis Star of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Walk-ins, soul braids, or exchanges happening. Part of the Monad Soul Family, plus personal higher self agreements, frameworks. And from Divine Angel of the Light, Vrinda, 888 Freedom Earth. All Earth, every being, is being recalibrated. Preparing for Mass Ascension. And from Lightworker 4444, flashes of light illuminate consciousness, releasing programs in those whose eyes were once closed to see, to reveal the truth in all things. Oh, how humanity has risen and continues to rise. The Christ itself emerges gracefully like a swan. Our crowned heads glisten golden under the sun. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Alley Ray, when you awaken to life, as truly witnessed by your heart, everything is remembered and known to you as God, and you feel an unspeakable reverence for absolutely everyone and everything from that moment onward, including all of you. Oh, the joy of remembrance. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Mary Costello, Protection of Innocence, Mother of Dragons Guarantee, Eternal Grandmother's Directive, Ancient Golden Presence, Eternal Holding Presence, and Chained for Her Power. Now freed from underwater, she was held out of time. 
she extends to us now the eternal line she comes with one mind only to return all space to gold in service to your golden soul the golden eternal child lay down all false protections shadow ego deflections smoke-screen denial or imitation she holds us in our power our fullness our truth our strength mother of dragons calling our giant self here ensuring our safety ensuring our honor and today from divine sis star of the light aura 444 x 2.56 class solar flare last one was last friday we will see many x class flares leading up to the total solar eclipse in april the harmonics are converging and all is aligning back to the organic blueprints of creation i mentioned cosmic waves for this month transfiguration of the sun and the light body activations it is not disappointed with the surge of light wherever you are feeling discomfort suppressed energy needs to be let go of and replaced with the opposite thought or feeling you must fill your cup with light your cup is your chakras without light it cannot spin like it should it gets stuck or stagnant and that's how disease begins its lack of ease which is disharmony light is harmonious you were made of light the rest is a deception on your creation as your powerful light heals you the planet and humanity too allowing truth to be seen allowing peace to be received allowing love to be felt you have what you need within you and today from divine sister of the light marie Josie garrison de l'homme the influx of light felt is very powerful and will be again through the weekend these streams of light are so connected to our inner truth and alignment with the soul anything that is not aligned in its truth with itself is unbearable and must be dissolved transformed to return to its truth one's truth may not be another's truth all truths are good each their own way except that everything must be aligned in love everything not in this essence must be cleared this seems to have been repeated over and over but it must be understood down to every cell of every living being on this earth we are preparing with these influxes of light to succeed in our ascension into the physical body on this earth very soon and all who are not ready to experience it will go on another plane to prepare for another thousand years for their ascension flows of light plunges us deeper into being in its own truth and all this must be done in the greatest respect for others our brothers and sisters who are among us presently timelines are lifting us higher and higher and we need to stay grounded or at least come back as soon as possible connected to self and gaia getting out of the trap of the ego the ancient that is trying to denature us from the galactic being that we are here on a mission on earth for the purpose of ascending stay grounded in knowing that the energy that flows in is here for us to lift us up and it works in our dna and cells so it requires presence water rest trust and faith abundance will be on this new earth accessible to each of us who participate as well as joy compassion sharing and unconditional love have a good weekend and a good rest from marie josie medium dot com from divine bro thor of the light michael love the earth alliance more powerful light headed for earth great one as we head into another super galactic weekend the earth alliance reports that a massive x 2.5 super flare erupted this morning leaving the star seeds of earth reeling from the continuous barrage of light coming into the planet sunspot ar3576 erupted today 653 utc producing an intense x2.5 class solar flare just like the x flare from several days ago a massive halo of plasma expanded out in every direction and a large chunk of these particles is headed for earth now 
Big Sunspot AR-3576 is moving over the sun's western limb, and one might think this means our planet is safely outside the line of fire. In fact, the opposite is true. AR-3576 is rotating into a zone where the sun and earth are magnetically connected, making the situation uniquely dangerous. Sunspots located near the sun's western limb are magnetically connected to earth. The sun's magnetic field spirals around like a lawn sprinkler, a shape known as the Parker Spiral. Lines of magnetic force coming out of the western limb curve around and touch our planet. In space weather lingo, this magnetic connection is known as the danger zone. We discuss important space weather events from a spiritual perspective because we know our ascension is directly connected to the light coming from the cosmos. 3D humanity has little or no awareness of space weather events or how cosmic light affects human evolution. Daily life goes on, and they simply do not notice any of this. The reason for this is that this light is super high vibrational and only beings that resonate with its frequency are affected by it. A 3D being would have to elevate their consciousness and awareness at least up to the fourth dimensional level to notice this light and for it to affect them. Higher knowledge and insight and tell show that the intensity and frequency of this light activity have dramatically increased recently, and that this light is not just coming to earth by accident or chance. Furthermore, this light influx is more related to the 26,000-year ascension cycle and is being sent to Earth for a purpose by intelligent beings. The guardian races overseeing humanity's current ascension window say they are blasting this realm with light for the purpose of moving this entire realm up into the next harmonic universe, which contains the fifth dimension. The bottom line here is... Humanity's ascension is well overdue since 2012, and things have recently been super-escalated by the Guardian host races to ensure humanity's ascension is a success. The aware starseed is feeling the incredible ascension symptoms and noticing the increased amounts of light and barrage of strong X-flares coming in constantly now. Everyone has noticed the shifts in their bodies, their emotions, their mental capacity, and in their soul. Entire realities have shifted for many, and life is being transformed in profound ways by this powerful light. As timelines merge higher and higher towards our grand goal, every star seed on earth is working hard to integrate this powerful cosmic light into the cells of their body. It's important to be super grounded as this cosmic energy bombards the cells and DNA of the human body. Consuming light, raw energy foods, drinking plenty of pure water, grounding yourself in nature, meditating, and keeping crystals nearby will help channel this energy through your body and into the earth. The aware starseed who watches space weather events has also noticed an increasing and concerning phenomenon as these new flares are triggering rare proton radiation storms almost every day now. The frequency and levels of these radiation storms are something new, and the starseed understands how this affects human DNA and consciousness. These proton radiation storms are being played down by mainstream space weather and news media as no big deal on the surface. However, there are increasing reports that much larger amounts of these exotic particles have been making their way into Earth's atmosphere recently. The flare from this morning hit Earth with a major pulse of these energetic protons, which will take several hours to reach Earth but solar proton levels are predicted to jump way up later this weekend. The magnetic danger zone between Earth and Sunspot AR-3576 allowed this pulse to reach us, despite the fact that the sunspot is not facing our planet. Notably, the pulse was relatively rich in hard protons, with energies 50 MeV, which is likely that another X-flare will blast out of AR-3576 this weekend, which could trigger a full-fledged radiation storm. 
Possible effects include high latitude radio blackouts, fogged cameras on Earth orbiting satellites, and elevated levels of radiation on commercial air flights. Increased amounts of protons will reach the surface, and while this is generally something to be alarmed about, it is a concern to take notice of. Let's move even higher this weekend, and how about we go ahead and wake up the entire world? It's time to get on with this. Let us know what ascension symptoms you are experiencing at this time. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology 21624 Today is smarty, smart, savvy, self-aware, and self-confident, and you are channeling all of it. This is a key point to remember this year, that you are the alchemist and the magician and everything flows through you. You have these high-powered energies to work with you as you choose your next steps. That's why you went through so much inner growth last year, so that you could see that you are well able to handle whatever comes your way this year. Opportunities for advancement and progress will start to show up more and more now, and you stand at the gateway to not only receive them, but to spin them into gold. From Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute, we are at the final phase. As we are currently experiencing a major shift, it is changing everything right now. Shifting and changes will be the new normal as we move closer to the grand event of our ascension. Our Earth has already raised up in her own frequencies and is steady within fourth density. Our Mother Earth's active frequency shifts, our solar logos, and all the intense cosmic frequencies we are receiving through the photon belt and through other cosmic events along with the 5th, 6th, and 7th dimensional frequencies coming in from our star families. Everything is in motion for the grand event. Our solar logos in these moments have been very active, pushing several M-class flares. One of them was even a large M9, which was directed towards Earth, which caused a geomagnetic storm to erupt. That storm is also pushing high-frequency rays, which are hitting the Earth's poles, and being absorbed within her core. She is then using these intense frequencies to help amp her own vibrations into the sixth dimensional level. These intense energies are to help push the awakening in this final phase of our ascension. She is boosting her energies to help awaken her children, and this is what we are experiencing. She is actively boosting sixth dimensional vibrations and this is to help change everything. She is shifting us into a new beginning. The shift we are experiencing is moving us up into a higher octave than before. What this means is it is allowing for more expansion to take place. This expansion is what is bringing the change. Our beloved Mother Earth has been very busy in this last week. After the activity that was reported in our last update, the amplitude has begun a new phase of intense movement. At from 5 p.m. UTC on the 9th of February, a series of peaks began around the power of 40 hertz right at the 5th dimensional level. These movements increased in intensity from midnight until 4 o'clock UTC the morning of the 10th. The higher peaks were shortly after 1 o'clock a.m. UTC, which reached the power of 60 hertz. At 2 a.m. UTC, the level then raised to power 65 hertz, which is well above six dimensional frequencies, and then fell back to power 60 hertz around 4 o'clock a.m. UTC, the morning of the 10th. She stayed at that level for most of the day until later in the evening. The power then dropped back down to 40 hertz at 6 o'clock a.m. and then down to 23 hertz by 7.30 a.m. UTC. Then right after this amp up in frequencies, the graph had over 30 hour blackout indicating that the graph was unable to track the frequencies during that time. Soon after the blackout, the energies on February 13th showed the peak was at the power 17 at 4 o'clock p.m. UTC and reached the power 36 by 5 p.m. UTC, 
everything amped up again. On the 14th of February, from 4 a.m. UTC, the remaining frequencies were immediately set in motion in all four measurements. The first significant peak was the power 48 around 6 o'clock a.m. UTC, power 52 at 8 o'clock a.m. UTC, then another six-dimensional boost of power 65 shortly after 9 o'clock UTC. And the last movement of the day before yesterday, which reached the power of 55 hertz just before 2 o'clock p.m. UTC. At the time of this update, for yesterday, February 15th, the power has moved back down to a power of 19 hertz, which is back within the fourth dimensional level. This massive jump in vibrations is to help push humanity into a fast track to move things along at a quicker pace. We are well within the final phase of our ascension. This final phase is expected to last in our time perspective into the year of 2030. However, the infinite creative source will act when the moment is right, which could be way before then. This is why no time is given of an event. It is all up to the divine will. As of this moment, humanity must rise into the higher vibrations to reach the levels needed to make that massive jump. Those who are already awakened will continue to lift higher and begin to achieve the abilities of light, meaning we are expanding. We will begin to feel as though we are living within two different realities. We will feel and witness the collapse of all things of the third dimensional vibration. We will begin to witness the enhancements of one's own awareness, which can bring forth our psychic and healing abilities. The changes will start within us and will quickly manifest into our reality. The changes to expect are the raising of our awareness of our personal expansion. We are expanding to receive more light within. What this does is allow the blocks and negative vibrations that we hold within our bodies to rise to the surface, to be cleared. This worries many because the stuff a person pushes down is what they do not want to deal with. When this takes place, forgiveness is key. Forgiveness of oneself and forgiveness for all others. We must let it all go. Master Sananda said it best when he was in human form, Forgive them, for they know not what they do. Those who are still in third dimensional mindset do not know their truth. They do not know that when they harm others, they harm themselves. We are one, one love, one light, one source. Within divine love of one, pars kute. And today from divine sister of the light Meg Benedict, what a powerful upswell into new energy, a new era, new vibrations. This eight year of the wood dragon is already providing to lift us into a higher spiritual level. Breaking through another density threshold. Last week I suddenly had to lie down, my body and mind turning off, feeling intense pressure pushing me down into the bed. After an hour of deep trance state with my spirit team, I awakened, refreshed, lighter, free from that heavy density layer. It was an extraordinary breakthrough moment. Since then, my soul's life force has increased in an infusion of energy pulsing and vibrating in my body, in new visions, in a stronger inner drive. This wellspring of inner soul essence desires to express in the world. It is a compelling wave moving in me and through me. I see it, sense it, feel it, invigorated by it. This eight year is uplifting us into higher, more expanded ways of being. The first sacred gateway of 2024 is next week's 222 immersion in the feminine energies of Divine Mother, the High Priestess, the Goddess Essence. As we adjust to the eight energies of Dragon Spirit, what a perfect time to connect, honor, and integrate the swell of feminine energy in the field. The Divine Goddess is transforming the global operating system by dissolving hierarchical patriarchy into a more equitable circle of collaboration, community, and expansion. The triple dose of 222 Goddess Infusion provides the opportunity to activate the sacred union template. 
the cosmic vesica pisces two interlocking rings to come alive in your heart's center and light body this is the new template of divine love of yin yang balance of oneness vibrating within your being in the new earth the goddess returns in all her glory as we gather together on february twenty second in the two 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 gateway we welcome the goddess blessings and benevolence as we activate the sacred heart template of universal love balance and harmony let's join archangel metatron in this auspicious two twenty two gateway and alchemize a world of peace from new earth central dot com and today from divine brol through a delight diego e berman phd x class solar flare alert a weekend for integration and clearing old fears dear friends the fourth strongest solar flare of the current solar cycle an impulsive x two point five was detected a few hours ago today friday february sixteenth solar flares are triggered when magnetic energy builds up in the solar atmosphere and is released in an intense burst of electromagnetic radiation they are categorized by size into lettered groups with x class being the most powerful those of you who are energy sensitives probably felt this intense energy burst building up yesterday or will be experiencing it today and or during the weekend our sun is back into action and this week has been a real challenge for many energy sensitives worldwide these solar flares and winds packed with protons and other subatomic particles arriving into our atmosphere are stirring our energy fields and removing old stagnant low frequency energies which usually are felt emotionally as fears insecurities and anxiety and physically as pains and other disturbances in our body organs at the same time on a more positive side as we clear these old energetic structures we become lighter and are able to gain new perspectives on our life we may also experience moments of bliss and reconnection x solar flares tend to disrupt our circadian rhythm and affect our sleep patterns our nervous system is more susceptible during the night time and emotions can be heightened especially at night this may result in altered sleep patterns, extremely vivid dreams, and anxiety bouts during the night. It is important to understand the emotions being cleared during these days as they hold key pieces of information about aspects of your life that need healing or attention. These fears are usually related to situations in which we feel powerless and unable to control an outcome. You may want to write down in a journal your thoughts and insights as we pass through this intense solar period. Remember, please, that it takes our bodies a minimum of three days to adjust to these solar waves. Please listen to your body, stay hydrated, and rest as needed. This weekend may bring more solar surprises. Stay tuned for more updates as the energies evolve. We are slowly but surely moving towards the first eclipse season of this year. The March-April 2024 eclipse season will feature a penumbral lunar eclipse on March 24th, 25th, and a total solar eclipse on April 8th. You may see this week and month as an energetic preparation for the changes to come. Breathe deeply, allow the process of change to take place within you, and trust all is happening in divine timing. Take care of yourselves, and have a wonderful weekend much love we are one from diego berman dot com and today from divine sister of the light karen lithica trust the flow the light creation of now for the light of your world is inviting you to observe many new aspects of you we ask you to acknowledge this now moment of thinking and feeling in the human form of now for the parameters of your world as shifting, flowing, aligning to the great synthesis of the cosmic universe. We ask you to acknowledge the true emotions of you. Feel into the great change that is all around you. As cosmic observers of your light paradigm, we simply portray the multidimensional reality now reaching you at a subcellular, multicellular framework of light creation. Simply breathe in the light of now, 
for it is a rhythmic dance of human light oscillation the natural progression of you is rapid and free-flowing we share this today to acknowledge the great transition that is under way trust in the light of now trust in the momentum of your progress for much is occurring in the higher realms as you channel and birth higher light creations be love be light together in unity the arcturians and karen from karenlithica.com and today from divine sis star of the light carolyn 144 god code connecting in partnership with god and spirit will lead you to financial prosperity you can follow their way for you by letting them lead and you can be an active contributor they are helping you grow in unpredictable ways their strategy is leading you out of disappointments and regrets into wealth and stable long-term security you are being free to make these changes and follow this new way of being of service and success release the ego and let the light of the spirit in she is helping you shine bright and share this light with the world in jesus christos name amen god bless you love carolyn from 144godcode.com and today from divine sister of the light anastasia cosmic astrologer venus enters aquarius 16th of february 2024 she immediately meets with pluto at zero degrees aquarius and mars at two degrees of aquarius mars and venus form an exact conjunction in a few days all while venus is still in her morning star phase this passage is unique and phenomenal which we haven't experienced in our lifetime ever it's truly a time to awaken to truth and authenticity and from divine sister of the light colleen lemma on friday february sixteenth it is a busy day astrologically beautiful venus ruler of the feminine archetype is shifting into progressive aquarius at eleven o five a m e s t in this sign she will be more independent rebellious individualistic objective opinionated and freedom oriented she will stay in the sign of the water bearer joining the sun mercury mars and pluto until march eleventh throughout the day she will be approaching a conjunction to pluto the great transformer and planet of death and rebirth energies which is exact at three forty four a m eastern time saturday the divine feminine is taking back her power now there may be in fact power and control issues that guide her to rise up and move back into her inner strength confidence energy and potential she is transmuting disempowering circumstances and events of the past and past lives perhaps even for all women from past times on this planet venus will use her magnetism attraction energy and social connections to influence situations towards her favor today we also have mercury ruler of the mental realm an intuitive and unconventional aquarius challenging uranus the great awakener and the planet of liberation communications are more likely to be truthful honest and to the point great psychic insights and revelations are possible we are planning for the future now and will move through any difficulties to move towards our hopes dreams and visions of what we desire to manifest both personally and globally this is a day filled with many electrifying energies connect with the higher realms and connect with your higher self for guidance blessings of love and light to all from sacred soul empowerment dot com and today from divine sis star of the light leah whitehorse first quarter moon in taurus venus enters aquarius as we come to the first turn in the lunar cycle we feel a deep need for security simplicity certainty yet we also have an equally compelling tug towards novel experiences new friends the idea of experimentation with the unknown path the heart flutters with excitement at the thought meanwhile the inner child sits in the corner clutching favorite toys to their chest maybe there is a way to satisfy both sides a slow and gradual emergence into new lands day excursions an open-top bus a visit to a new art gallery bar or cafe 
Make a date with yourself to calm the inner child's fears and tease out their curiosity. For some, these aspects may manifest as a strong urge to free oneself from feeling stuck. The Sabian symbol of the quarter moon is a woman past her change of life, experiences a new love. Invest in your future, it's never too late to start afresh. Trust that nature knows when it is your time to blossom. From NeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 119, Blue Lunar Storm. Lunar is the name for the number two, and its keywords are polarize, challenge, and stabilize. Okay, let's be honest, number two days can be a pain in the backside. There's no relaxing today. You must deal with challenges, and then those challenges must be polarized to stabilize them. Problems must be faced, and just like members at an AA meeting, you must admit that you have problems before you can tackle them. Today, look at what needs fixing and deal with those issues without further procrastination. Today is Blue Storm, which represents catalyzed self-generation and energy. Stormy days bring about big changes. When you combine this energy with the number two, the result is kapow. What a crazy day. To summarize, identify your challenges, and then with the mighty power of the storm, blow your troubles away. This suggests that even very large problems can be dealt with today if you have the nerve. As always on stormy days, you either get blown away or you harness all that energy and put it to good use. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Blue Lunar Storm to Kawak, Keen 119, 16th of February 2024. Stabilizing Polarization. 16 to 2024 equals 728 equals 710 equals 71 equal 8. Day codes 16 the tower, sudden unexpected events. 7 magic, mystic, spiritual initiation, solitude. 8 infinite abundance, source flow, in breath and out breath of creator. Month year codes 2 twins, partners, cooperation, alliances, duality. 8. 10. Manifestation, Perfection, Authority, Power. 1. New Beginnings, Original, Leader, Independent, Unique. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 24. Charisma, Happiness, Healing, Joy. Keen 119, Equal 11, Portal, Duality, Twins. A Turbulent Day, Revealing Any Distortions to Truth. Lots of mudslinging, as the pond is being stirred up to be cleaned. A Catalytic Day for Powerful Transformation. Keen 119, the blue lunar storm, was the code for the dream spell year in 2020, and what a catalytic year that was. Global transformation beyond anyone's imagination. This gives you an idea of the energy today, and also the energy of this entire 13-day wave spell to create true transformation. Throw in the 16 tower code and Pluto and Aquarius to mix and boom. Shift happens, and very quickly indeed. We have accelerated change happening at sonic speeds these days. Anything can and will happen. Fasten your seat belts, beloveds, and get ready for a wild ride. Welcome to day two in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we anchor our capacity to reflect the truth as revealed by the mirror. Trusting in the transformation of the chaos that the storm is catalyzing in our physical world. This enables us to stabilize the polarity conflicts. Tone of creation. Lunar tone 2 in the physical realm. The lunar tone represents the sacred twins. Cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female, and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. Today we magnetized and attracted spiritual energy, and today we anchor that energy in our physical bodies. The lunar tone may also reveal challenges in order to recognize and release anything stopping us from expanding into new horizons and recognizing our true, authentic, diamond self. It's polishing time. How can you use the power of the storm to magically transform your physical reality? 
If challenges present today, flip the energy, fueling the power generated through the chaos into creation and alchemy. Divine blessings for our collective journey through the Hall of Mirrors. May we arrive at our desired destination with ease and grace, buffeted from the ravages of the storm. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 119, Blue Lunar Storm. The mantra, the code for today is, I polarize in order to catalyze, stabilizing energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation. With the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of magic. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Or if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Teresa Holmes for your pledge and support on youtube memberships and welcome to the tribe of the eagle and the condor i'd like to also welcome and thank divine sis star of the light tara nicole funk for your pledge and support on youtube memberships and welcome to the tribe of the eagle and the condor 144 flowing in now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my sacred condors artwork you could purchase her Beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from the Summit Lighthouse. I am pure. By God's desire from on high, accepted now as I draw nigh, like falling snow with starfire glow, thy blessed purity does bestow its gift of love to me. I am pure, 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 by God's own word. I am pure, 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 O fiery sword. I am pure, 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 truth is adored. Descend and make me whole, blessed Eucharist, fill my soul. I am thy law, I am thy light, O mold me in thy form so bright. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. From summitlighthouse.org Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed weekend ahead as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.